IELTS Writing Task 2, Lesson 6, Opinion Essay. Over the next four lessons, I'm going to show you how to take all of the advice and techniques from the previous lessons we've done and put it all together to write full essays. We're going to start with this lesson um, with opinion, an opinion essay. Then we'll look at discussion, problem solution, and a two-part question. So today's lesson is about opinion essays. An opinion essay is when they ask you, usually, do you agree or disagree? The key word is you. Do you agree? It's asking for your opinion, not the opinion of other people. So a big mistake that many students make with this type of essay is that they talk about other people. Some people think this, other people think that, and they only give their opinion at the end. That's a bad way of doing it. For a do you agree or disagree essay, your opinion needs to be clear from the beginning in the introduction, throughout the essay, and repeated again in the conclusion. So it's about you and your views, not other people. One more point about opinion essays is that it is definitely acceptable to use the word I or the word my. When the question asks, do you agree, you have to answer, yes, I agree or disagree, or in my opinion. That's the only way you can really answer that question and give your opinion. If you don't, if you try to use the passive and say something like, it is agreed that, that doesn't mean I agree. That means people agree. You have to answer the question by saying what you think. Let's look at an opinion question now, and we'll work through step by step, planning, introduction, main body, conclusion and I'll show you a full essay um, using the advice from the past few weeks lessons. The question that I'm going to use in this lesson is a real IELTS exam question that some of my students had. I worked together with one of my classes and we planned and wrote this essay and that's what you're going to see now how we did it. Here's the question first. The money spent by governments on space programs would be better spent on vital public services such as schools and hospitals. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Of course, the first thing that my students and I did was we read and tried to understand the question. I'm going to highlight one or two things, uh, key parts in this question, to help you make sure that you understand it. The first word I highlighted for my students was the word you. This question is asking whether you agree or disagree, so it's about your opinion. And what's it um, the opinion on? Well, it's this topic of the money spent by governments, and then we have to decide whether we agree with this idea of instead of space program spending, it should be spent on public services. The second step of planning is structure. Plan your essay structure, four paragraphs. Let's look at the four paragraph structure that we usually use. Introduction, two main body paragraphs and conclusion. Starting with the introduction, let's look at the topic and answer. We only need two sentences. A sentence to introduce the topic and a sentence to give a general answer to this question. The topic is government spending and the answer that my students and I chose was we agree public services instead of space projects. This would be a better way to spend government money. Then we move to the conclusion. We're just going to repeat that answer in the conclusion in a different way. Here's what we decided. Spend on services that benefit us all. That's what we're saying. Then quickly, structurally planning paragraphs two and three. What are we going to put in each of those? Paragraph two why space spending should be stopped, and paragraph three, explain why public service spending is better. That's our structure plan, that's finished. The next and final step of planning, number three, is plan ideas for the two main paragraphs, about six minutes, three minutes planning ideas, brainstorming for each one. Let's do that now. The first main paragraph was about why sp space spending should be stopped, here are some of the ideas that my students gave me when they were after brainstorming. Waste of money when projects fail. Expensive. 
scientists, facilities, equipment. No benefit to normal people. Politicians showing power. Risk of accidents, deaths. Example, the Challenger Space Shuttle disaster. Some of my students remembered that. And then paragraph three is about why public service spending is better. These are the ideas my students had. It's cheaper, e.g. doctors, teachers, police instead of astronauts. Public services impact on everyone. Reduce po poverty, better quality of life. We all use schools, hospitals, police, roads, etc. As I said in my planning lesson, this brainstorm doesn't have to be in order. The next step is to try to put those ideas in some kind of order, usually trying to think about five sentences per paragraph. So I'm going to number these ideas now to make more sense of them, to organise them better. Our first sentence needs to be a topic sentence about the main idea, why space spending should be stopped. We'll write a topic sentence for that and then we'll move on to explain why. My students and I decided to go with the easiest idea first, which was expensive. And then we decided to move to no benefit to normal people and politicians showing power. Next, accidents and deaths. And we thought that was the same point as waste of money when projects fail. The waste of money, accidents and deaths could all go together as things that could go wrong with space travel. Finally, the example, the Challenger Space Shuttle disaster example. In paragraph three, again, we'll start with a topic sentence about the main idea of public spending, service spending being better. And then the cheaper idea first, because that's the easiest one. Then we'll move on to public services impact on everyone. And we thought we all use schools, hospitals, police, roads is an example that goes well with public services impact on everyone. And then our final point, number five, will be reduce poverty and better quality of life. So we've put them in some kind of order there. And now we have our plan finished, we're ready to start writing. We've done the planning, the three steps of planning, read and understand, then structure, and then really good ideas. Let's go back now to the introduction. There's the question again. And there's our plan that we had two sentences only, a topic and an answer sentence. The topic about government spending on space programs, we wrote, governments in some countries spend large amounts of money on space exploration programs. We've just added the word exploration. Then our answer sentence, we're going to clearly state that we agree. I completely agree with the idea that these are a waste of money and that the funds should be allocated to public services. Notice some good vocabulary in there. Instead of saying the money, I've said the funds. And allocated is using, uh, should be used for public services. That's what we mean by allocated. That's the introduction finished. We just simply wrote two sentences from the plan. Now we're ready for paragraph two. Back to our plan for paragraph two, the first point, why space spending should be stopped. And we realised from our plan that we had several reasons. So that's what we wrote in our topic sentence. There are several reasons why space programmes should be abandoned. Notice the word abandoned is a nice alternative to the word stopped. Then our first reason why these space programmes should be abandoned, it was expensive. So we wrote this sentence. Firstly, it is extremely expensive to train scientists and other staff involved with space missions and facilities and equipment also come at a huge cost to the government. In this sentence, we used space missions instead of space programs and we used at a huge cost or come at a huge cost instead of just repeating the word expensive. Moving on to our second point, that was no benefit to normal people and politicians showing power. Here's what we wrote for that, starting with secondly. Secondly, these programmes do not benefit normal people in our daily lives. 
They are simply vanity projects for politicians. We wrote um, vanity projects. That was the good vocabulary that I gave students in that case. They didn't know that phrase. I suggested it as a nice way of saying politicians showing off. On to our third and final point. That was waste of money when projects fail, the risk of accidents and deaths, all the things that could go wrong with space programs. Finally, many missions to space fail completely and the smallest technological error can cost astronauts their lives. Good vocabulary, the smallest technological error, and instead of saying deaths, can cost astronauts their lives is a good way of saying that it can be fatal. We finish with an example. The example we had was the Challenger Space Shuttle disaster, and this is how we wrote that sentence. The Challenger Space Shuttle disaster showed us that space travel is extremely dangerous, and in my opinion, it is not worth the risk. That's the paragraph finished. It's 97 words long, and as you can see, it's a typical firstly, secondly, finally paragraph, starting with a topic sentence and we finished with an example. Five sentences long, just going through the ideas from our plan. So next we did the same thing for paragraph three, using the plan to write a five sentence paragraph. Our first point in the plan was why public service spending is better. We needed a topic sentence just to say that it is and then we'll explain why. The first sentence then is, I believe that the money from space programs should go to vital public services instead. Now let's explain that opinion. Our first point was it's cheaper to employ these people, public sector workers, instead. Here's what we wrote. It is much cheaper to train doctors, teachers, police and other public service workers than it is to train astronauts or the scientists and engineers who work on space exploration projects. We've just written a nice long sentence using that idea. Next idea, public services impact on everyone. And we wrote, furthermore, public servants do jobs that have a positive impact on every member of society. Instead of everyone, every member of society is a slightly nicer phrase. Our next idea, we all use schools, hospitals, police, roads, etc. That's an example of the positive impact on everyone. So we wrote, for example, we all use schools, hospitals and roads and we all need the security that the police provide. Now on to our final idea which was reduce poverty, better quality of life. If governments reallocated the money spent on space travel and research, many thousands of people could be lifted out of poverty or given a better quality of life. That's a good sentence for a few reasons. Firstly, it's um, a conditional sentence with if. We've got some good vocabulary, reallocated. So instead of using it for one thing, we use it for another thing. And we've got the phrase could be lifted out of poverty. Instead of writing reduce poverty, poverty I suggested the phrase lift people out of poverty and given a better quality of life. That's a good phrase that we had in our plan. That's paragraph three finished, and that one is 108 words. Again, five sentences, just following step by step through the plan and sometimes improving the vocabulary. Now we can finish off with our conclusion. If we go back to the plan, we wrote, conclusion, spend on services that benefit us all. We're just going to restate what we've already said really in the introduction and this is what we wrote. In conclusion, my view is that governments should spend money on services that benefit all members of society. Notice there's a comma at the end because we just decided to add a little bit more and it is wrong to waste resources on projects that do not improve our everyday lives. A few bits of good vocabulary in there. We've had benefit all members of society, that came from our plan. Um, wrong to waste resources, that's a good phrase. Um, projects instead of programs. And everyday lives is a nice phrase there to end with. That's the essay finished. You can see the full essay 
on the attached worksheet next to this lesson. But before you look at that, I'm just going to highlight some of the good vocabulary in this lesson. The band seven to nine vocabulary that makes this essay a really good one. Space programs came from the question, but instead of that, in our essay we had space exploration, missions, projects, travel, research, already some good variety. And then other vocabulary that was used, funds should be allocated, that was a nice phrase, instead of money should be spent, should be abandoned instead of stopped, facilities and equipment come at a huge cost, remember come at a huge cost instead of expensive, vanity projects for politicians, politicians showing off, can cost astronauts their lives, it was a good phrase, instead of can kill people, space shuttle disaster, public servants, a positive impact on every member of society, if governments reallocated, could be lifted out of poverty and given a better quality of life. It's that vocabulary, that topic vocabulary that makes the essay really good and would ensure that it gets a very high score. It would be a band nine essay. So print the worksheet, look at the full essay and there's a little task to do at the bottom to help you to focus on structure, linking and vocabulary. Next week we'll do a similar thing but this time for a discussion essay where we have to look at two different views and give our own opinion.